Hello there, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to talk about 10 products that I want to either hip pan or use up. I think actually all of these products are products that I do want to use up in 2022. So if you're interested in seeing all of these 10 products, then just keep on watching. Uh, you might see me in the same attire uh, for a few videos because I'm in the mood to film. So I'm just going to film as much as I can, as much as I want, uh, because I am um, just in the mood. How are you liking my new hoodie? This is the McLaren Daniel Ricciardo uh, Formula One hoodie. I love this man. He is my favorite driver in Formula One and uh, I kind of only asked for this for Christmas because you have his um, number here. He's number three and yeah, I just want to support him and this is so cool. I love the color. Kind of, you know, it's more maybe Max Verstappen style because of the color, but I mean McLaren kind of claims the papaya color anyway so i don't care it's Daniel ricardo i am loving it and how are you liking my new background did change a little bit i got a new um chest which fits all of my makeup and then some and then i have some festive um fake sort of pine sort of whatever some fairy lights a frame some candles and my friend alina she helped me uh, kind of decorate it all in the background i kind of space it out a little bit a little bit because it kind of seems a little bit more clustered oh also there is i don't know if you'll be able to see there is an eiffel tower here my uh fiance he uh 3d printed it for me i love france i love uh paris so this is really cool uh, but yeah this is how my background will be looking from now on uh, the mirror will be changed because i'm gonna have a round mirror up here but it's gonna stay like this for a while anyway now that we have this out of the way haven't recorded in like 10 days uh because christmas and everything happy holidays i hope you had a lovely lovely holiday i definitely did uh so yeah i was in town a lot of uh this time just to kind of you know uh search for last minute gifts kind of stocking stuffers and stuff like that so i wasn't able to film as much as i could over the christmas period but um that's okay i usually do take uh kind of the christmas period off that's why i I probably would never be able to do vlogmas because i'm just so busy in december that it's it's never gonna happen anyway i <laughs> just i miss so much uh, i missed filming so much so i'm just kind of rambling on anyway let's get into the video 10 products that i would like to hit pan in 2020 don't know if i did my intro i'm just kind of all over the place anyway let's get started i'm just gonna go in the order that i have it here on my list and the first product that I like to use up is this bronzer. This is the Real Her Bronzer. I received this in, uh, I think, might have been a glossy box, might have been a birch box. Uh, this, so this is what it looks like. I have no pan on that yet, but you can clearly see the rings there. Plus, it's a mini as well. It's a deluxe size sample. So I would love if I were able to finish that up in 2022. That would be such an achievement just to get it out of my collection because I do want the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. So I do need to use up some bronzers to get a new one in. So this is a contender. I'm going to be having this in my shop massage very often just to use it up. And also I have another bronzer that I want to use up. And this is the Catrice Sun Glow bronzer. My packaging broke. And I actually also had to repress it so this is what this one is looking like now uh it's quite thick in the middle because that's how i uh repressed it but uh it's kind of loosely pressed so i'm hoping i will be able to use it up in 2022 as well so these two will be frequent flyers in my shop mustache just to kind of you know get them out of my collection they're quite old as well so i do want to keep my uh collection as fresh as i can so these are definitely contenders to use up i also want to use up a full-size lipstick and the lipstick that i want to use up is this rouge velvet the lipstick in the shade 02 now as you can see 
there isn't enough lot left of this lipstick and uh, I have used quite a bit of it already so this is get <laughs> spoiler this is going to be rolled into my partners in cream project pan just to use up I will be using it as a blush and also on my lips and I'm hopeful that I'll be able to just kind of knock it out of the park within the first maybe three or four months of 2022 and uh, that's my plan and you know that means another plus size lipstick will be out of my collection. This is quite old as well. I think I got it in a kind of like a gift with, with purchase sort of set. Uh, I do enjoy it. I love the color, but it's just really old that it needs to go. Next up, I want to use up this. This is the Catrice uh, Tensational uh, Primer. This is what's in my shop mustache at the moment. This is really old, guys. Really old. And, like, I've used quite a bit of it. I have maybe about that much left in this, um, in this guy. So, yeah, it's time for this to be rolled out of my collection fully. Like, the packaging is already kind of curling up because of, like, it's literally peeling off. Can you see that? Literally peeling off. So yeah, this definitely needs to be rolled out. I do enjoy it. I did notice that the formula changed a little bit. It starts to peel. Uh, so it's not ideal. So I just want to get it out as quick as I can out of my collection and into my uh, 2022 makeup empties. Uh, so I'm, hopefully I can do that quite fast. Okay, then I have this. This is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Look at this pan absolutely massive uh, I don't have much powder so this will be rolled in my shop my stash quite often maybe every three months so I am hopeful that I will be able to finish it up in 2022 I'm not in a rush to finish it early but I do want to get it out of my collection by the end of the year and uh, it's not something that I would repurchase it's nice I used to have it before and uh, I'm kind of you know missed it I wanted to see how I feel about it again and I repurchased it but um it's just fine. It's not my favorite. I don't think I would repurchase again, maybe in a couple of years time, if I want to remind myself how this works. But for now, when I use it up, I don't think I would repurchase again. Then I want to use up this. This is my uh, Kylie Cosmetics Candy K liner. As you can see, it's so, 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 so small. But it does take a while to use up uh, liners. Now, this actually, wow, yeah. This actually falls out, so I only have that much left. Uh, so I am going to do my best to just use it up as quickly as I can. Hold on, let me just reach for the <laughs> for the top of it. Um. Oh, something. Oh no! What the heck? There was more. Anyway, so this is how much we have, and uh, yeah, I just want to. I'm got. I'm definitely gonna roll it into my partners in cream project pan at some point to get it out of my collection because I do have loads of lip liners. And while this is nice, it's old, so it needs to go. Next up, I have a foundation, and the foundation that I want to use up is this L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. Uh, when I had it standing up on my old sort of uh, vanity, I had about this much left, so I don't think it's gonna take much, maybe a month or two of use, and this will be out. This is okay, I, everyone was raving about it, but I did find sometimes that if I used the wrong primer or the wrong skincare, this would peel. So yeah, it's a bit gimmicky. Not for me. I don't think I would repurchase. It's nice while I had it, while I have it, but it's not something that I would go out of my way to, you know, purchase again. Then I would like to use this up. This is my Studio 10 uh, liquid glitter eyeshadow. As you can see, there isn't enough a lot left in this guy so many windows i keep kind of taking out the stopper and pushing the product down so that i can get as much of it as i can but uh i can still reach um this uh, the eyeshadow that i have in here and it is sort of a glitter kind of thing so you don't need a lot but i do feel that uh you know two or three rotations in a shot my stash and this will be uh, out and I'll, this will be a, my first ever liquid shadow to be done and that will be 
such a such an achievement so i'll definitely uh, try and pan that and the last product that i do want to pan is this ilamasca beyond liquid highlighter this is a little sample that i received i think in my look fantastic box and i uh, i am about maybe halfway done with this so uh I definitely want to get it out of my collection by the end of the year um it's fine it's not my favorite i'm still on the lookout for my favorite liquid highlighter which i think i found but uh you know i'm not gonna say it i'm not gonna say it i need to twist it out some more uh but this is just fine i it just because it's so small and because i can work through it quite quickly i just want to get it out of my collection but that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give this video a like. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.